Just a heads up, there's a skincare giveaway in this video with a total of six winners that's gonna win a box of skincare and makeup. Yas. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel and leave one comment down below and you're entered to win. Six winners of all these goodies. Be sure and enter. Hello guys, how are you? Welcome to my channel, I'm so happy you're here. I'm trying to hold this vlogging camera and honestly my arm is about to snap off. It's so heavy. Um, but I'm deciding to not film this on my iPhone because one, some of you don't like the footage from my iPhone and two, I dropped my iPhone whenever I was in Utah and it shattered the screen and right where the front camera is. Okay, so let's get into talking about this video. So as it turns out, I have recently discovered that I am a skincare hoarder. It's even worse, I think, than my makeup hoarding. Uh, I'm kind of a minimalist with a lot of things except for skincare and makeup. I'm not that good at getting rid of skincare and makeup because every time I see something, I'm like, ooh, I want to try that. And then it ends up being 10 million products that I want to try. And then we end up here. This intro is getting long. Subscribe to my channel before you leave. Subscribe. Now we can jump into this video. Let's go upstairs. Here we are. This is skincare. That was an upset stomach. They were so clear when I moved in here, guys. I swear to God. And then the hair products are a mess. Oh my God, more skincare, more products, and I got all new bath cloths we're gonna put in. Oh my God. You guys haven't seen this. So this is what under my cabinets look like. Um, I tried to start organizing it and then I was in over my head so I kind of backed out of organizing it. This is such a beautiful bathroom and I gotta say I've completely messed it up. Hey. What are you doing beautiful queen? Come here. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Oh my god. I'm just so in love. This is Miss Congeniality right here. And she's gorgeous. What are you doing? Oh look. More skincare and then I have some skincares up here. Pickle. You want me to put you in the window? Come on. All right, so now I've exposed myself for all the skincare that I have. Um, a lot is sent to me in PR. I just want to disclaim that in the video. This is not all skincare that I have bought myself. Some of it, yes, but not all of it. Most of it comes in PR, and I'm very appreciative of that. If you watch my PR unboxings, you already know what's up. Okay, so here is the other part of this. <sighs> I didn't want to bring this up, and I didn't want to say it. I have spare bathrooms that also have skincare in them. I've been storing it in other bathrooms, it's moving into other rooms, and like I said, we've gotten a little out of hand. So we're gonna go in those bathrooms and we're gonna pull all that skincare into here because I shouldn't have skincare all throughout my house. It should be in my bathroom if it's mine. Am I right? Can I get an amen? Okay, let's go get the other skincare. Oh look, skincare. Oh look, hair care. More skincare. More skincare. Look, a whole basket of skincare. I got more skincare. More skincare. Oh my god. All right. Now we're gonna pull the skincare and hair care out of the cabinets so we can get a real vision of what all we got. And I don't want any skincare in the other bathrooms. I want it all in here. So Laura's skincare, my skincare. You're a hater. <laughs> and I just added a few pieces after our Kate Somerville trip. <laughs> You're a hater. You're you a have hater. a problem. Yeah. Laura, this is ridiculous. I'm in trouble. You should be embarrassed. First of all, I'm not embarrassed. Okay. Because. It's all free. It's a passion, and I didn't buy it all. Okay. You got enough for like a million faces in here. <laughs> you couldn't use this in a lifetime. Wait, I could. You don't understand how much skincare I use. Oh, no. I know how much skincare you use. Oh, gosh. It's just ridiculous. All right. So we cleaned out. I mean, it's still a mess. Don't worry. We'll accomplish that in this video. We cleaned out the skincare. <laughs> And the drawers are empty, so now what I'm gonna do... Oh my god, I missed a drawer. <gasps> oh my god, I think I missed... <gasps> I missed two drawers. Guys, I'm so disappointed. All right, here we go. Okay. 
um, something had like spilled. I don't know if you can see it in this drawer. It's like glossy. So good thing I'm cleaning out. Okay, I gotta admit, I'm a little disappointed in myself for keeping this much skincare and hair care. I am actually, like I said, not much of a hoarder when it comes to other things. Like I'm really good at getting rid of clothing and just houseware things. They donate so much. But just to be honest, I feel like a little bit of this comes from my childhood and I know that may sound totally crazy to you guys, but you know, growing up I wanted a lot of things, but we just never really got them and that's just a low income family and I'm not complaining about that. You know, everything that happens to you molds you and makes you the person you are and I'm very happy where I ended up. And so I'm grateful for that. It taught me about the value of money and stuff like that. But part of me feels like some of this hoarding comes from not getting those things and now that I do get those things, I like mentally want to hang tight to them um, and, and be fulfilled with physical things instead of things that matter. You know, we're not supposed to, as humans, let physical things like skincare and makeup and things like that fill those areas in our life. Those areas are meant to be filled with friends and love and joy and positive energy and doing the things that you love to do and spending the time with the ones you should spend your time with and that you love to spend your time with. Not filling it with physical items to find security and, and comfort. So, my goal today is to let go of so much of those things and again do what I did in 2019 focus all my time and energy on the things that matter and just keep going down that road that's my goal today but I have a lot of work and a lot of decisions ahead of me behind me technically but ahead of me um, to make today and I don't plan on keeping like a crazy amount of skincare so I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to be getting rid of. But first, I think what we need to do is take some Clorox wipes and really clean up and clean out the cabinets so we can have a fresh new start. the sink the drawers everything look so spick and span and amazing so now I'm gonna figure out what I need to keep so this is gonna be the hard part of this because obviously I have issues with letting go of these things but we're gonna go through each item and first I think I actually want to kind of divide it too as I go through the products so I think like the best thing to do is to ask myself certain questions and those are do you already have this is this a duplicate is it expired? Are you really gonna use it? And tell myself that no, Erin doesn't need it because Erin has a ton of skincare. I swear, I always think she needs everything. <laughs> Let's get started. This is gonna be the tough part. All right, so I'm gonna have this bag here for items that I'm gonna get rid of. And I think I'm gonna have another bag going. Here's another bag. Guys, I really like it. don't even wanna do this. I don't wanna get rid of this. I'm stressing myself right now. I need to chill. This MAC lip scrub expired. This Clinique acne treatment is so expired. That's so old. This Murad, I just dropped it. Like I probably got that like three or four years ago. That's how expired it is. It's the getting rid of, I can get rid of things that I know I can't use because they're expired, but I'm finding a really hard time getting rid of things that could be used because I have a logical reason why I want to keep them. I'm like second guessing it right now as I talk about it, but this is the medium hold hairspray from Caratees. Ugh. I like these Garnier um, iPads, but I'm going to get rid of them just because I used them and then I kind of quit using them and I have enough stuff. I'm also going to get rid of this anti-aging serum from Origins. This is Dollface. I think this is a nice, really nice brand and this is a plumping mask and I want to keep it really bad, but I feel like I've had it 
for a while and I haven't used it and so someone else should have it, you know? Love my cores. I'm gonna keep this. Keep Lamare. I'm not letting her go. I'm obsessed with Laneige. I love this glow recipe spray. It's everything. This is Madonna's skincare and it's like used up. Why do I have it? It has maybe one more use in it. And so I'm gonna use it on my leg right now because I don't need this. Love this uh, solution. This is like a toner exfoliator from Glossier. La Mer Stay. I've really been enjoying the Tatcha Eye Cream. La Mer. I'm keeping the La Mer. This Lancome skincare is awesome. I have two of these, but I want to keep both. Um, oh, I love the Mum Mum Cream. Genesifig is my favorite from Lancome, so I'm going to put it right there. I just got this at Christmas. This is the Costa Palms. I think I'm saying it right from Urban Outfitters. Oh, it smells so good and it's for your body and I've been using it every night. So I'm not going to get rid of that. Oh, I love bum bum cream. So I'm going to keep her. Okay. So we have another item I'm going to get rid of. This is a super toner from Glam Glow. I've always wanted to use it. I never got around to it. I think I should let it go. I'm still stuck in a rut and don't know. Like this is dry shampoo. I, I, I use so much dry shampoo because I hate washing my hair. So I'm like stuck in a rut right now because I feel like everything I'm looking at, I want to like try to spot items I would easily get rid of, but now we're starting to fall into the area of items that would be difficult to get rid of. Okay, I have two of something, but these have the Tatcha Cleansing Oils and it's makeup remover. Oof, another doll face mask. I'll get rid of this. This is a Tatcha um, water cream and this used to be one of my favorite products ever. I actually think I'm gonna let it go. I don't think there's much in it, but I do think I'm gonna let it go. I haven't been using it. I've had this for a really long time, but I still don't wanna get rid of it. This is a dry shampoo. This is a hairspray that I think I'm gonna hold on to. I've had this primer from Bubble and Bumble for a long time. I've used it, but I'm not using it anymore, as well as this body souffle. This is the essence from Tatcha. I wanna keep that. bathroom sink that isn't filled with everything in the world. I just want my bathroom sink to be organized and easy to get to. Okay guys, we have a verdict. This is my keep pile. No, it does not look good. It looks terrible. It looks way bigger than I thought it was gonna look. I'm a little freaked out because I know I'm gonna have to get rid of some products that I really, 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 really don't want to. Now this is my giveaway pile. It is three big bags. And that, again, it doesn't mean I don't like these products or I didn't think they were good. I have duplicates, some are expired. I honestly have to go back through all this, but I won't keep any of it. Um, I love some of these products so much. Um, like this is one of my favorite toners, but I have enough. So this is my giveaway.
Okay, I just finished the hair care drawer. This is all of the hairspray, shrug shampoo, serums, mask, and hair shines and hair gels that I'm keeping. Period, that's it. I do have shampoo and conditioner I'm keeping, but this is all the hair product I'm keeping. Um, this is all of the face washes and makeup removing oil and products that I'm gonna keep. And I don't think I'm gonna store any more of them. This is still a lot, I understand that. Um, but it's better, like it's it's a lot better because there's gonna be none under the other bathroom sinks in the house. This drawer is my main drawer, so I have moisturizer, serums, eye creams, and then lip products, and then some backup moisturizers that I like. I do have a few more products for this drawer because we have some space back here, but then after that, I'm gonna have to get rid of more. This is all that I have to put up. And what I'm finding as I'm putting things away, I'm like, holy crap, I can't fit all this. So I'm actually filling these bags more and more as I begin to put things away. I also have this tray here and I like to keep it up on my sink and on it, I keep just items that, one, are aesthetically pleasing, so I'm really into aesthetics, and two, that I plan on using a lot. Um, I'm not gonna overcrowd it, but I am just gonna put a couple items that I love and that I wanna use a lot. And honestly, this is like all that I'm gonna put on here. All right, so I'm putting in my containers. This one's from Amazon. Um, these are from the container store. I'll put everything in the description box. These used to be in my beauty room. I've got to make new labels for them. But right now, this one's from Amazon too. They spin, they're so nice. Right now, I'm trying to figure out which ones I want. See, that wouldn't turn because of this. So it's gotta come up front. This is all the shampoo and conditioner I'm keeping. The amazing thing is I can just spin it and figure out what I wanna use next. Freaking drop this. Oh, it's everywhere. <laughs> Great. It smells so delicious though. Next, we're gonna add our mask over here. This will be our face mask. The reason I ended up moving these out of my beauty room is because I actually didn't like them in there. They're so loud. And so I moved them under here. I actually have space in this one. I only filled up this drawer, this drawer, and this drawer with face mask. And that's it. I do have some sheet mask, but yeah, that's really impressive for me. So I do have, okay, this is now ruined, sad. Um, I do have a couple of face sprays, toners that need to be put away. So I think I'm gonna fit them all in here. Check it out, this is it. And I have stuff in my drawers and then here, and it's all organized. I have an empty drawer I'm gonna fill with something. I don't, have the, I don't have it yet. It's really incredible, I'm really proud of myself. It looks so good and I have everything I need. Next up, we're gonna tackle this mess. This is hair products and I have a lot of them. First, I'm gonna take everything out of here and then wipe it down. We are in day two of cleaning out, and you may be like, Laura, what else could there possibly be? But there is one more drawer that we have to tackle that I was gonna skip, but we did so good on the other drawers. I really don't wanna skip it. This drawer used to be organized. It's not anymore. We're gonna organize it. Let's go.
Okay, let's get a look at what we've done. Wow, this really looks incredible. These are two organizers from Impressions Vanity. They're just acrylic organizers. And yeah, the short is so much more usable. This is deodorants and then just different hair pieces and scissors and tweezers and floss. Right in the middle. All right. So, guys, I feel so good. I feel like you can actually see the products I have. I know what I have. I don't have a million things to choose from. I only have 100,000 things to choose from, so, so much better. It feels really amazing to have done this. This drawer's still a little bit full of facial cleansers. Um, my hair care products, like this is, this is it for me, my hair care. And then these are all my hot tools down here, and they all fit perfectly because I got rid of a few. Down here, just one more overlook. Wide strips. All my skincare, these are so cute from Kate Somerville. I have my shampoo and conditioners, and just extra body care stuff over here. It looks so amazing. I have so much more space to store stuff that I don't even need, because I didn't keep that much. Over here, I bought all new white, fresh towels from Home Goods. These are really, really soft. I already washed them all. They look so much better. Down here, I got these baskets from Home Goods, so affordable. Um, hair brushes. And then these are my hair wraps and different little tools in there. And I don't really need all the space. It looks really amazing. And believe it or not, Ty's side is really organized as well. He has less stuff than me. That is my bathroom, wow. guys it took me two days to do this I didn't think it would take me that long I had no idea how bad it was but we realized how bad it was and we got through all of it I feel so good I'm so happy with all I got rid of I don't even miss the stuff I don't even like dread it um, but yeah thank you guys for being on this journey with me um, be sure and comment down below and hit the subscribe button to enter the giveaway Lots of good stuff happening. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Subscribe. Okay, I'm going to go clean my bedroom now. <laughs>